So today we have a chemistry question of the day and it's asking which is the best Lewis structure for the cyanate ion which is CON minus. So when we want to solve this, um, we want to look at a couple of rules to define how we find the best Lewis structure. Um, so we see here that there's two rules, two rules that we need for defining the Lewis structure. And the first one, the most important, is that all atoms should follow the octet rule. And there may be some exceptions, ex especially for sulfur and molecules along those groups. Um, but for the most part, everything should always follow the octet rule, which means it has eight electrons surrounding it. Um, and the second one should be the formal charge matches the electronegativity. Um, so the most negative formal charge should also be on the same atom that is the most electronegative. And we'll see how we actually do that. Um, so if we look back here, uh, we, we should see that there should be one that we can eliminate that doesn't follow the octet rule. Um, and so let's, let's look at this one. So A we see that C has eight electrons around it, you know, four times two because each bond has two electrons. And same thing with eight and eight. And if we look at D though, we see that um, the nitrogen has one, two, three, so that's six electrons and two electrons. So that's eight total electrons surrounding the nitrogen. Oxygen also has eight, um, but the carbon has 10. And so we can eliminate right off the bat that D will not be the correct answer. Uh, so let's eliminate D. Um, but if we look back um, to finding uh, out of the next three, which one has the best formal charge that matches the electronegativity, we have to follow these rules. Um, and so the formal charge, we find the group number minus the number of bonds minus the number of lone electrons. So let's just say um, we have this imaginary uh, molecule right here. We want to find the formal charge of C. Um, so C is in, the, in group number four. Four minus, and then the number of bonds. Um, so it has three bonds, right? One, two, three, and it has two electrons, two lone electrons. So it has a formal charge of negative one, and we see that the formal charge also matches the net charge, right? So let's do that for these ones as well. Um, so the nitrogen is in group five, if we look on the periodic table. So it's five minus the number of bonds, which is one, minus the number of um, lone electrons, which is six. So this would have minus two. Right? Um, this, the carbon is in group four, it has four uh, bonds around it, so it has zero. And the oxygen um, is in group six and it has uh, three bonds to it and it also has two electrons, so it'll be plus one. Okay? And nitrogen will be um, zero in this case, zero. And we'll see this is minus one. Using the same rules, I'm not going to go too in depth on those. And then um, C, we'll try, we'll do, um, it's in group five, so five minus these four electrons minus the two will be minus one, and C will be zero, and O will also be zero, and D we, we eliminated before because it didn't follow the octet rule. So now we have these three right here, and we have, um, you know, negative two, plus one, minus one, and minus one, and we see that all of them should always add up to negative one because that's our net charge of CON minus. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the formal charge matches the electronegativity. Um, so if we look back, we know that the most electronegative follows the Fonkelbrush, F-O-N-C-L-B-R-S-H. So out of all the molecules that we have, O is the most electronegative because it's Fonkelbrush, so O is more electronegative than N. So we want the most negative formal charge to match the most electronegative. And you see this is positive one, but the minus two is on the N, which is not the most electronegative, so that wouldn't be right. Um, the N is negative one, and the O is zero, and that again does not follow it. We want the O to have the most negative, and the only one that, that would be the case is this one right here. The O is negative one, and the N is zero, so that would be our answer right there. And um, for the electronegativities, we see on the periodic table, it follows like this, F, O, N, C, L, B, R, S, then H. Um, and the general trend for electronegativity is up in that area right there. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.